Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. I pray all is well with the Shaykh and they are Inshallah. in the best state of health and iman. Inshallah. What is the correct etiquette when tying a turban and what should we recite to honor the sunnah of the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam? Well, we're just talking about turban then question came. There are many ways that you can do to make the tying of the turban to become more beautiful. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First is intention. Why are you wearing the turban? Why do you want to wear the turban? You're saying to please Allah and His Prophet. In imitation of the prophets, in imitation of the saints, in imitation of the angels who are wearing, all angels are wearing turbans. And to become more beloved to Allah so that He looks at you with more rahmat. Don't wear it for pride. Don't wear it for beauty. Do the little bit more difficult thing. If you say, I tie this, yes, for the sake of Allah, but I'm only going to wear it at home, especially people in living in Western countries then do a little bit more difficult. Try to wear it and wear it outside a little bit. And you're going to understand what it means to carry sunnah in the last days like it is fire in your hands. There's people looking at you with so much fire. No? Then how are you going to protect yourself? Uh, there's a lesson to be learned from that. Have your wudu. It is good. Before you touch that turban, the turban cloth itself, uh, try to get it from good people, Muslim people, try to. Um, there are so many Muslims that they are producing these turbans, right? But if you want to get it from others, I'm not going to say nothing. Up to you. Try to, take it. There is a specific length, but it doesn't matter so much. Don't tie so small. Don't tie it so big that it comes out like this. If, like I said, if you have a sheikh guide, then it's easier. You can just say, oh, like this. Then he may say, like this for you, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller, regardless of how you feel, okay? To fit into other things. And take the turban, wash it by your hands. It's good. Recite some salawats when you're doing that, to clean it now. Hang it up. Try to be uh, having, thinking good things. Don't be angry washing your turban. Recite some things to clean it, to bless it. Then when it is dry, fold it. In our way, we have a specific way of folding it. After that, now once you start trying, Make a dua, short one, doesn't have to be very, in whatever language you're speaking, say, Ya Rabbi, I'm doing this for your sake, please bless me, that this turban, it'll be pleasing to you. Then you're going to tie it. The way that we're tying it is, I discover, uh, may, maybe there's so many different ways, but try to pick the best way. Although there's so many different ways, try to pick the best way. And if you can pick something better than that, please go ahead. But I'm yet to see. So uh, when you're tying it, again, keep reciting salawats. Uh, I'm not going to go so much into the uh, symbolism of it, how many it is going to have, uh, layers, on the right and on the left, and what it's representing, da da da. Doesn't matter so much now. Now, just to wear your turban, especially to go out a little bit, that is, has more meaning and more pleasing to Allah than you knowing full the meaning of it and you're not wearing it or you're not going out to wear it. The angels spent thousands of years just tying the Prophet's turban hmm? with prayers.
their specific prayers for the first layer, second layer, all that kind of thing. If you know that there are prayers, then make those prayers. Speak from your heart. Now a woman may say, what about me putting on? Same principle applies. Don't just wear like this and like that. Understand, this is the inheritance of the prophets. Hmm? Prophets used to wear this, Allah, Allah. If I tell you wear like this because this emperor wear it or this prince wear it, people now, if one uh, celebrity wear like this, everybody rushing to do it. Yeah? But Muslims are not taking pride in that connection to say, this is Haidariya from Haidar, Allah Allah. This is Shalwar from Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. This khamis, this turban, this taj. Just to think like that. Sometimes you may forget. Try to remind yourself. And that time there is more blessing that comes to it, inshallah. Huh? Okay. And when you are wearing that turban, there is an etiquette, there is an adab. Don't wear that turban and still walk around as if you're wearing a baseball hat. There is a certain haybat that comes with that. Watch your manners, watch your language, watch everything when you're wearing that. It prevents you. It prevents you. It should prevent you. They say the beard is the hijab of a man. So this must prevent you. But can you say, well, I don't care. I'm just going to do it even if I, my beard is six feet long. Yeah, you can do that too. But it is against to the real meaning of what it is supposed to be. May Allah keep us strong, inshallah. Wa min Allah wa tawfiq al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.